Hello, and welcome to Planet Montgomery, the show that brings you the latest news on the Montgomery County Planning Department. I'm your host, Michael Brown. We have a great show lined up for you, focusing on the latest master plans, a sit-down interview with our newest planning board member, Tina Patterson, and a recap of some of the planning department's recent awards. Bicycle Master Plan has been in the works for the past two years. After many community meetings, bike rides, and the chance for the public to comment on digital maps, the planners now want to find out if their recommendations are hitting the mark. The Bicycle Master Plan went through another round of community meetings in June, and our crew was there. So tonight we are talking about the preliminary bikeway recommendations for the Bicycle Master Plan. We're in Bethesda and this is the second of five community meetings that we're doing. So we're going to explain to the, to the public uh, through uh, posters and through our presentation what the Bicycle Master Plan is all about, uh, how we've approached that plan, and what are the early preliminary bikeway recommendations. Uh, main takeaways are that we are com comprehensively rethinking the bicycling network and the bicycling approach in Montgomery County. We're uh, considering how people of all ages and abilities get around by bike and what sorts of um, things that they need to feel comfortable riding. I think the recommendations are very ambitious. I think it's exciting to think that more people will be able to bicycle uh, without being fearful of traffic. We live in a very urban area and I think that offering options other than cars to get around is, uh, is a fantastic idea. I know we have a lot of very dedicated bicyclists in Friendship Heights. I think it's really impressive the amount of data and thought that's gone into it. You can tell that they've done a lot of thinking about different types of facilities, different ways to connect the county, and to really create an overall network. So far, so good. I'm really pleased with what I've seen, and I hope that uh, we can get a lot of this implemented. I think it's going to make it a lot more pleasant for both bicyclists and drivers, and um, a lot safer for both also. We learn a lot from, from the community. They know uh, how their community operates, how people get around, and what are good bike routes and what needs to be improved. So that's absolutely critical. But two, at the end of the day, we really want the public's buy-in on this process. We want um, them to feel that their, that their comments have been heard and that we've reflected them in the ultimate recommendations that we have for the plan. Okay. The Montgomery County Planning Department recently broke ground on its new headquarters in the heart of Wheaton. This building will be shared with the Department of Parks and other county agencies. It is designed to be one of the first government buildings in the state of Maryland to be eco-friendly and achieve LEED Platinum status. We called up with Planning Director Gwen Wright and Planning Board Chair Casey Anderson to get their take on the design and what this will mean to the Wheaton community. Two, one, toss! A new 14-story mixed-use building will be home to the Montgomery County Parks and Planning Departments, among other county agencies, and will include a town square plaza and an underground parking garage. The MNC PPC-owned building is designed to become one of the first government buildings in the state of Maryland to be LEED Platinum certified. Among its green features are geothermal heating and cooling, integral solar panels, roof gardens, electricity generation, and gray water reuse. By 2020, we hope that our offices will be here in Wheaton in a brand new LEED Platinum building uh, with a gorgeous uh, plaza, public spaces, a great hearing room. Uh, really, really a very, very special building that will uh, lead us forward into the next 90 years. And we also hope that it becomes a real landmark in Wheaton. Wheaton is a fantastic community. It has really eclectic, diverse 
group of restaurants and shops and we're going to be right in the middle of it and so I'm very very excited that we're going to be joining the Wheaton community. The project is part of a larger effort to revitalize the Wheaton area. With more jobs here during the daytime that will complement the many residents who are moving here. They see the amenities, the restaurants, the great uh, vibe this place already has going and by adding some office workers during the day I think it's going to make it more of a 24-7 kind of a neighborhood. The project is scheduled to be completed in 2019 with the Planning and Parks Departments moving in in 2020. Learn more at MontgomeryPlanningBoard.org slash Wheaton HQ. Earlier this year, the Montgomery County Planning Department was honored by the American Planning Association for its planning of the county's agriculture reserve. The National Planning Landmark Award recognizes a planning initiative at least 25 years old that is historically significant and initiated a new direction in planning. Here's more about this nationally recognized award-winning project. The Montgomery County Agricultural Reserve is a national model of innovative land conservation planning. It's an example of how a creative and thoughtful policy can preserve a natural resource by protecting farmland and open space and support more than 500 farms that contribute millions of dollars to Montgomery County's economy. Established in 1980, the Agricultural Reserve has become one of the most significant land use decisions in county history. Heralded as one of the best examples of land conservation policies in the country, the 93,000 acres that make up the Agricultural Reserve includes a mix of farmland and rural open space in the northwestern part of Montgomery County. It was Montgomery Planning's Agricultural and Open Space Plan that made the recommendation to protect almost a third of the county's land resources. When the Agricultural Reserve was um, created in 1980 through our plan functional plan for preservation of open space and agriculture, we were way ahead of the times in terms of sustainability. Back in 1980, people were really just beginning to talk about sustainability. But by setting aside 93,000 acres of land in our county as an agricultural reserve, We've been able to not only preserve our streams, uh, we've been able to preserve our canopy cover, we've been able to create ways of bringing locally sourced food to the people of Washington, D.C. We've been able to do a lot of things that are now great uh, aspirations in terms of sustainability, and we're able to do it because we created this agricultural reserve. Implementation of these goals included several measures, including reducing the rate of new residential development from one house per five acres to one house per 25 acres, and implementing a transfer development right, or TDR, allowing landowners to recover the equity in their land without having to sell it. These innovative measures helped retain more than 500 farms in the county. Of the 93,000 acres in the reserve, more than 63,000 are now devoted to farming. This forward-thinking planning effort has contributed millions of dollars to the local economy. Let's take a look at some of the quick stats on the Ag Reserve. There are 63,493 acres of farmland in the protective Ag Reserve. The average farm size is 118 acres, which equates to $42 million in crop sales and $6.5 million in livestock sales. The Agricultural Reserve Plan was approved under the leadership of Montgomery County Planning Board Chair Royce Hansen. It provides an extraordinary resource for the community, for the entire region, in fact. Uh, it is not only a source of fresh food and increasingly uh, a source of table crops for people, but it also is a, a great recreational and cultural resource. Uh, there are bike rallies throughout the reserve nowadays. There are new agricultural oriented uh, businesses being created, uh, such as wineries. Uh, it is the source of most of the things that people find in their farmers markets down county in Silver Spring, in Bethesda, uh, in Wheaton and so on. So uh, people, what I would say is people ought to take a weekend and drive out Route 28 or Clopper Road 
uh, or Georgia Avenue into the reserve and enjoy it. And remember that uh, an urban and suburban community is only a part of the overall ecology of a metropolitan area that should include viable agriculture, great scenery, and clean water and green forests. When I look at the Ag Reserve, I see it as hope. I see it not only as what it is today, but it's hope for the future. If a metropolitan area, such as Montgomery County, with about a million residents, can have the foresight to protect an area for farmland preservation, open space preservation, succeed in doing it, and then decades later still have a robust farming economy, it can be emulated elsewhere in the United States. It can serve as a model elsewhere. So it offers a very bright uh, future, not just for Montgomery County, but for other jurisdictions in the United States. The Agricultural Reserve has become a national model for preserving rural lands and creating sustainable communities. Across the country, many counties have adapted the model and its development transfer tools to preserve farmland. The Montgomery County Council recently appointed Tina Patterson to serve a four-year term on the planning board. Commissioner Patterson replaces Commissioner Mary Wells Harley, who recently completed her two terms. We had the chance to sit down with Commissioner Patterson and learn more about her and her priorities in this segment. I, Tina Patterson, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. It's both exciting as well as humbling. Exciting in the respect that I have an opportunity to be of greater public service to the community and humbling in the fact that as a member of the planning board, the decisions that we'll make have a, a long-term impact on the community. My experience as a facilitator and an alternative dispute resolution professional in general, I believe I can bring that skill set to bear as a member of the planning board. The ability to listen thoughtfully, to hear, to ask questions, but also to give individuals whether that's applicants or members of the community, an opportunity to have their say, to present their, their concerns, their desires, what they would like to see happen, but also carefully balancing that with what's best for the community based on what's been presented. For the public, I would really like them to know that while planning board members rely upon the staff and applicants to provide information regarding their, their ideas and suggestions, we really need the public to be involved. We really need to hear from individuals in the, in the community because you experience that community on a day-to-day -day basis. So participating in work sessions, testifying, coming out, and, and also for us to reach out to the community, being present, but really being engaged and, and lending your voice so that we can't all together make the county a vibrant county and continue to make it attractive whether that's through public workspace or looking at how we look at access to recreation. The future of the county from my perspective is multifaceted as it relates to transportation, housing, and economic growth. As we continue to grow in East County, Up County, I foresee more East-West travel, being transportation being factored. I also see the need for more housing, whether that's affordable housing or multi family dwelling units. The Commission is celebrating its 90th anniversary and I'm hoping that community residents, civic federations will be engaged so that when we celebrate our 100th anniversary we can all be proud of what we've done. That's it for this edition of Planet Montgomery. You can learn more about these projects and plans by going to montgomeryplanning.org and connect with us online on Twitter at Montgomery Plans and on Facebook at facebook.com slash Montgomery Planning. I'm your host, Michael Brown. Until next time, we'll be planning Montgomery.